Hey everybody! I know this video is long overdue. Quite honestly, I didn't expect my video on five things axolotls need to really blow up as much as it has over the last several months. And there are a few items that I didn't discuss in that video that really should be taken into consideration if you're researching axolotl care, if you own an axolotl, or if you're planning on getting an axolotl. And this is one of those items. So today I want to talk to you about substrates. Can you use just any kind of substrate you want with an axolotl? No, you cannot. There are some substrates that are not appropriate for axolotls. And of the substrates that are appropriate for axolotls, there's pros and cons to each one. So I want to give you my opinion on some of the different substrate options that are available in regards to axolotls. Before we get into the different substrate options, the first thing we need to discuss is something called impaction. Impaction is when an animal ingests something that they cannot digest. They cannot pass it through. It's too large or for whatever reason it gets stuck inside them and it doesn't go through. It can block up their entire digestive system, resulting in bloating, loss of appetite, severe illness, and maybe even death. There have been many documented cases of axolotls having impaction on different kinds of substrates. And the reason that they get impaction from their substrate is because when an axolotl eats, they just open their mouth and very quickly vacuum suck whatever's in front of them. So if you have a loose substrate in your axolotl tank, they won't just get their food in their mouth, they'll get their substrate in their mouth as well. And anything that goes inside their mouth is getting swallowed. Let's go over some substrate options that are bad for axolotls as they could be ingested and cause impaction. The first item on the list is gravel. Just your standard aquarium gravel that you can buy from any pet store. It's bad for axolotls. It's small enough to where they can ingest it, they will ingest it when they eat, and they will not be able to pass it. Now there are a few people who will say that gravel will help kind of clean out an axolotl's digestive system. I don't personally support that theory. I have seen case after case after case of axolotls getting impacted from their gravel substrate. Another bad substrate option for axolotls is pebbles or small rocks or any kind of rock that can fit inside of their mouth. If you are going to use any kind of rock or pebble in your axolotl tank, you need to make sure that they're larger than the axolotl's head so that it can't fit inside the axolotl's mouth. Another bad substrate option for axolotls is these glass beads and plastic rocks that you'll see in pet stores that people often have in like a vase or something like that. They come in all different kinds of colors. Those are again bad, they can be ingested, and they won't be able to be digested. If your axolotl is a baby or juvenile, people also say it's bad to use sand until they reach a certain size. Because if they ingest any sand while their body's still developing, that could cause impaction as well. I've also seen some people try using colored sand in their axolotl tank. It's the same kind of sand you use in one of those bottles that you can make if you go on vacation or something, you fill it up with different layers of colored sand. Don't use that in your axolotl tank because the dye in that sand will leach out into the water and make the water cloudy and it may even be toxic to the axolotl. So now that we've covered some bad substrate options, let's go ahead and look at some good substrate options for axolotls. The very first option that I want to talk about is bare bottom. That's where you have no substrate at all. The pros to this are, number one, there's no substrate for the axolotl to ingest, so chance of them getting impacted in a bare bottom tank is zero. And number two is that it's super easy to clean. You can see any mess that the axolotl makes pretty much right away. It's not going to blend in with any of the substrate. It's not going to fall down between the cracks or anything like that. You're gonna see that axolotl poop sitting in the bottom of the tank and it's gonna make it a lot easier to clean up. On the flip side, on the cons, is that because axolotls do go to the bathroom quite a bit, because they are very messy creatures, that bare bottom tank is going to look dirty a lot faster. So you're gonna to wanna to clean it a lot more just to keep it looking nice. And another con to using a bare bottom tank is that the glass is actually very slippery and the axolotl can't get a good grip on it. People often say that a bare bottom tank can stress an axolotl out because they can't get a good grip on anything. and They just kind of slip and slide all over the place. And another con to using a bare bottom tank is if you like to have plants in your tank, you can't really root any plants in a bare bottom tank. 
so it kind of rules out having a planted tank. Another good substrate option that people often recommend for axolotls is sand. And there's quite a few benefits to using sand. First of all, it's a product that people are already familiar with if you have any kind of fish tank at all. There are some certain kinds of fish that like sand, such as cichlids and coolie loaches and corydoras. So if you're a fish keeper already, you might already be familiar with using sand as a substrate. There are some plants that will live in sand as well. Some plants don't really respond well to sand. Sometimes you have to use maybe root tabs when you use sand. Sometimes the sand can really compress down on roots, so not all plants do well in sand, but there are some that do. Another pro is that it just looks nicer and more natural than having a bare bottom tank. If your axolotl is an adult and you have sand in the tank, then if it does ingest any of the sand, then the axolotl should be able to pass that sand completely through. It won't digest it per se, but the sand particles are going to be fine enough to where it can just pass right through the axolotl. Some people actually say that this is good and helps aid the axolotl's digestion. Another pro to using sand is axolotls don't like slide around struggling to find a grip on sand. However, there are also some cons to using sand. First and foremost, as I mentioned earlier, if your axolotl is a juvenile or a baby, then it might not be able to quite pass that sand through its digestive system. You really don't want to use sand until the axolotl has reached its adult size. Another con to using sand is that it's a lot harder to clean. I don't know if you've ever tried to gravel vac sand, but it's almost impossible. You can't stick the gravel vac down into the sand like you can with gravel and suck up all the debris. Instead, you're gonna suck up the actual sand. And so the most you can do with a gravel vac is just hover it directly above the sand and pick up the debris that's on top of the sand. Another con to using sand, if your sand bed is deep enough, air pockets can develop inside the sand and toxic gases can build up inside those air pockets. If you have a tank that has sand as the substrate, whether it's an axolotl tank or a fish tank or whatever, you really should be going through and stirring that sand regularly to prevent the buildup of toxic gases in the sand bed. Another good substrate option for axolotls, and this is one of my personal favorites, is to use some sort of tile or slate. Not all tiles are going to be appropriate. For example, I wouldn't suggest using vinyl, but there are quite a few ceramic and rock and slate tiles that you can get at the hardware store that make really good axolotl substrates. The kind of substrate that I'm using here in Amy's tank is actually a kitchen backsplash tile. I know it looks like I'm using pebbles, but this is not individual pebbles. This is a kitchen backsplash tile that comes in one foot square sheets. And so I took that tile and I laid it down in the bottom of the tank and then I poured a thin layer of sand over them and kind of just moved it around to fill in all the gaps. The first pro to using tile or slate is that it looks nice. It comes in all different kinds of styles and textures and colors. Another pro is that it can be combined with other substrates. Like I said before, I poured sand over mine. You can also use large rocks on top of your tile or slate. Also, if you just have a flat surface of tile or slate, not combined with any sand or anything, it's really easy to clean, just like a bare bottom tank. But unlike a bare bottom tank, it provides a better grip for your axolotl. It's not a smooth glass surface, and it's not going to stress your axolotl out like a bare bottom tank could. And the biggest pro to using tile or slate is that it can't be ingested by your axolotl. Now there are some cons to using tile or slate as well. Number one, again, you can't really put plants in it. So if you do want to use plants, then you're going to have to pot your plants or something like that. Also, if you get a smoother tile, it's not going to be very grippable for your axolotl. I know I said tile or slate provides more grip than a bare bottom tank, but there are some tiles and some slates that are super smooth and super slippery, just like glass. So I would avoid those kinds of tile. Also, you wanna be careful not to get any kind of tile that's going to leach toxins into the water, such as, for example, maybe vinyl or linoleum might leach some sort of toxin into the water. Or if you use something that's 
needs to be glued or grouted into place. You want to make sure that you're using an aquarium safe silicone or grout, another kind, tile or slate, especially if you're just using just that and not putting any sand or anything over it, will get really dirty really fast. And the last good substrate option for an axolotl tank that I want to discuss today is large rocks. Now when I say large, I mean that the rock has to be larger than the axolotl's head. There are some rocks that are the size of your fist, and I think those are great for axolotls, especially if you can get a whole bunch of them. Pros to using large rocks in an axolotl tank is number one, this is the most natural option for the axolotl. It's a lot more natural than tile or a bare bottle or slate. Also, if you're using large rocks, they cannot be ingested, so that's a huge pro no risk of impaction. They provide a lot of really good grip for your axolotl to hold on to and move around on, so they're not going to be slipping and sliding and struggling for grip like they would potentially in a bare bottom tank. Large rocks also look really nice. They look really cool in an axolotl tank. You can also just scatter large rocks around on a bare bottom tank so that the axolotl can go from grippable spot to grippable spot. Also, if you cover the entire tank in large rocks, you can pour some sand down as well to fill in the gaps in between the rocks. The cons are, first of all, if you're going to cover the entire bottom of the tank in large rocks, that's going to get very expensive. These rocks are not cheap. You'll need a lot of rocks for full coverage. It's also going to be harder to clean. It's going to be really difficult to get down in between the rocks with your gravel vac. It's going to collect a lot of debris down in there, and so you're going to end up with a lot of detritus. Also, you're not really going to be able to grow plants out of a large rock substrate. If the rocks are small enough for plants to root in, then they're small enough to be ingested by an axolot. Also, these large rocks could potentially collect algae, and that algae could be pretty difficult to clean unless you want to take out each rock one at a time and scrape them off with a toothbrush. Well, there you have it. That's my opinion on some different substrate options that are available for axolotls. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments what kind of substrate you use in your axolotl tank. What do you think is safe? What do you think is unsafe? What has your research told you? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.